we're going to create all these different party foods ready for the most awesome and craziest and epic party! Stay tuned to the end where we do a super secret and special party food! Now, let's go discover what we can find inside! Start with some creepy finger hot dogs. Here is what we are going to create today. So what you'll need is a finger bread bun, a hot dog, and some tomato ketchup. Let's get started. Oh, I've got many finger bun, just like so. And I've got two hot dogs. So what you'll need to do first is chop them in half. Make sure you have a big person to help you. Whoa! Oh, just like so. So I can make four finger creepy buns. Ooh! Okay, so we'll open them up. But wait, what's missing? Hmm. Oh, I need to create the nail first. So what I need to do is cut a little bit off here. Just like so, to create a fingernail. Oh, I need to get some nail varnish and make it all look pretty. Okay, and then we'll place that inside the first bun. Just like so, on to the next one. I hope all my friends will love my party foods and I hope all your friends will love them too. Squeaks and I love hot dogs and I think Squeaks is going to love these the most. Whoa, just like so, so we can bin those little bits of hot dogs or I can feed them to all my friends. So we'll put them here, let's line them up just like so. And now time for the added blood. Are we ready? Whoa, lots of blood. So much blood. Ew, whoa, I have created four spooky finger hot dogs. Wow, I've got so many to eat. Well, Let's move on to our next super cool party food! Ooh. Look at my apple, that's what we're going to make. Just joking! Rawr. Whoa, I'm going to teach you how to make this super scary apple with teeth and a tongue. Whoa! So what you'll need for this scary apple is some strawberries, some peanut butter, an apple, and some googly eyes. Oh, I'm not forgetting some seeds ready for the teeth. Okay, so what we'll have to do here is start off by cutting a hole out for the mouth. Maybe you might need to get a big person to help you with this one though, because it's a little bit tricky. Okay, and then we need to carve out a little nose, but a little scary nose. So we'll use a triangle. How are we getting along at home? Were you able to make the scary finger buns? And are you going to make the apple too? Make sure if you do do those things, then you send them in to me. The pictures of them, of course. Please don't be sending me any food. Okay, so we need strawberry. So I've cut it like that and I'm going to cut it in half ready for the tongue. So let's fill the mouth up with some peanut butter. Oh, we need a lot more peanut butter than that. Yay, lots of peanut butter. Just 
just like so. And then you can stick the tongue. Oh, it's a bit big. We're gonna have to make it even smaller. Just like so, a little tiny tongue. I'm gonna add some seeds. So here we go, if we put the peanut butter on the seeds to add more peanut butter, and then stick them here. Whoa! Wow, I'm making a little bit of a mess, but that's okay, because squeaks will help me tidy up afterwards. And we love making mess. Super scary! Where are my oh, there's my eyes. So we've got some googly eyes here. So if we put some peanut butter on the back, just like so, stick them on to our apple. Wow! So much peanut butter! So that is complete! We have got two scary apple friends! Let's move on to our next party food! Moving on to our ginger dead man! Ooh, all you'll need for this one is some red icing and some gingerbread! Ah, okay, let's start. What we need to do is snap them in half! Oh! have a friend for you just like so and then you've just got to squirt the icing for the blood oh lots of icing needed these ones are so super duper simple to do at home don't even need a big person's help. And you can make lots and lots of mess too. Almost done. Ginger dead men. Moving on to our next one. Now we are doing our spooky, creepy and freaky brains. Whoa, all you'll need for this is some Rice Krispies, some icing and some marshmallows. So all you have to do is tip this in there like so and put it in the microwave for a little while for all the marshmallows to melt. Well, I have used white and pink marshmallows to make it look more like a brain. So here is one that I did a little bit earlier, just like so. So all I have to do, oh, it's clump. I'm going to make a really big brain. Clump these together. Wow, listen, makes such a cool crackling sound. Just like so, oh, we'll move you over there. There's one brain, let's make another one. Oh, I could make so many brains. I've got so many Rice Krispies. Another brain, and let's make a tiny little one. Remember, always before preparing food to make sure you wash your hands so that when you prepare all the food, they'll be nice and clean and you won't give any germs to any of your friends. Okay, let's do the blood. Wow. Roll it down. We have 
got one more left to go and this is our super duper special one. Let's go find out what it is. Whoa! We're going to make an edible graveyard. For this, you will need some brownies or some cake, just something that you can smush up really easily. It'll have to be chocolatey though, because it has to look like soil. You'll also need some biscuits and some spooky sweets, just like these mice. We've oh, got some laces that we can use as blood. Uh, and we've got teeth and lips. So let's smush up some more of this to make some more soil. Oh. Wow, this is so super easy again, and you will not need a big person to help you because it was so easy. A few more. I do think brownies are best because they're really gooey. But here's the cake. Wow, it's good to use both actually because the cake makes a little bit of finer soil. Making lots of mess. Okay, so we need to add some little tombstones. And we can add some blood. Yeah. Let's add some mice. Half in. And now we're going to add teeth and lips. If we mash them in the soil a bit, we'll be able to see them a little bit further down. If you use a clear container like I have got, you can see them at the front just like so. Add some mice to the front too. Wow, you want to add so... Actually, I'm going to do the gravestones last so that I can add all the sweets and things throughout. Add some more. The more you can add, the better. You want lots and lots of sweeties throughout. Just like that. So now let's add some tombstones. Oh, it looks like we've got lots of worms in here. Crumple up some of this as well. Crumpled up headstones. Finally, we'll add some worms over the side. Just like so. And that is all you need to create an edible graveyard. Well, let's have a look at all we have created today for our special Halloween party foods. Look at all this awesome Halloween party food. Wow, make sure you check out all of our other Halloween videos because we've done so many super cool things. And boys and girls, make sure you have the best spooky craziest halloween party ever and happy halloween now it's time for me to go so i'll see you very very soon bye, -bye. thank you so much for watching please make sure you catch all of our other videos right down right now and make sure you tune in every Monday, Wednesday and Friday for new videos. Please check all of our social medias for news about upcoming videos.